Hey y'all. Today we're gonna work on a pen 12H. Uh, first I'll show you how to break this down. I'm gonna start with the uh, left side. I'm just gonna remove this side plate. And off it comes like that. You'll notice that the screws on this are shorter for the the real seat. And the rest are longer, except for the shouldn't be except for anything. So I think the screws on this side, um, one may be put in incorrectly. Maybe it was serviced before and not put back properly. The only difference should be the real seat are the shorter screws and the these posts here would be the longer screws. Let's go ahead and break this down. To remove this click spring here, simply under this screw right there. And remove this E clip to remove this. Should be a washer under here. There is. And let's finish this uh, click spring removal. So to remove this, you simply want to pry. There's the other washer for the, the tongue itself. Pry this up gently. These have always been kind of tricky to get up, so just want to take your time with it and go from each side to get it off. Let's go ahead and see if this bearing just comes right out. There we go. And out like that it comes. A little more effort than we wanted to. But let me fix this camera. All right, so there's the bearing out from there. And we can set this to the side. Let's go ahead and pull the spool out. Let me tape this up so we don't have this kind of flying all over the place. Let's pull this uh, shaft out. And let's go ahead and remove this bearing. See if this is stuck in there as well, which it might be. Well, that wasn't too bad. That was a little bit easier. And the clutch springs sit like that, like a flying saucer. I don't know if you can see that or not, but this be concave to concave and give the uh, flying saucer, saucer shape. Above that is uh, essentially a shim washer. And now we can take the drag plate off.
To do that, you remove these screws. Be real careful with these screws because they're soft. So you want to be careful not to strip them. Pull that straight up so you can see what's underneath. The pressure plate or the retaining plate, the pressure plate here, the drag spring and this may be glued on um, it is in the sixes I don't believe it is in the twelves but we're gonna check just moving these two plastic pieces here that sit on top of the air portion of the metal drag washer let's see if this comes up it just comes straight up so that's not glued in place and let's remove this bearing this one looks pretty simple, I think. I am wrong. All right, there we go. And that's that for the spool. Just checking this drag washer, it looks pretty good. Get this set to the side, and then we can work on the uh, the right side. Okay. So we get to the right side. Let's remove these uh, the real seat and the rod clamp. That's that for that. And now we can <clears throat> we can remove the. Uh, the eccentric lever. The way to do that is oh, that's nice. This bearing came out easily, which is good. This is a right side bearing. Let's take that right there. The way to remove the uh, the eccentric lever is to uh, we want to remove this quadrant ring. And what you'll notice about the quartering um, on the the middle the middle screw is beveled. I'm not taking out the handle yet because I need to remove the main gear and that has a screw in it. And I'll need the leverage for that to remove the screw. Then I'll loosen this so we can remove the tension from there so we can slide this back and forth to remove the eccentric. And this is basically the breakdown of this portion of it. It's a spring inside of a spring. Spring with a tip on top of it and a tension spring on the outside. <clears throat> so off came the quarter ring. I'll remove these posts that those screws sit in right there. And now I can turn this eccentric until I find the groove which is just past the free spool right there 
Let me move this around. Like so. And now we can remove these screws and then loosen the main gear screw inside. Let's go ahead and remove these posts so we can get closer to that. Take a look at it. Uh, so I'll remove these screws from the right side plate and then we can work on the main gear. And when I do this, I'm going to check these screws here to see if they're all in properly or if they're all the correct sizes because we had a shorter screw on the other side. That's not entirely bad because it still works, but I suspect one of these screws over here on this side is, there's one too many long screws over here is what I'm suspecting. So we'll see. All right, so let's see if we're right or wrong. Mm, this post, this one just, this post just screws up like this. Like so. So let's see these screws here. We have one, two, two short ones. And four long ones, and that shouldn't be. We're missing one here. Okay. So we have four long ones and three short ones, and we have five long ones and two short ones over here. I'm sorry, three short ones and five long. This shorter screw here compared to the others is a screw that's going to go into this post here is what that's is that is what that's for so that goes in like that so that's for that post so everything looks right let's get this out of the way and then we can go back to this main gear So let's remove the handle and we'll let this sit for a little while. I'm just going to use this to remove the handle. And under here, there should be a washer. Oh, there it is. Should be two. And actually has two washers and that just sits on top of the uh, the shaft like so so I'm gonna drop some oil inside there set that over there and let's break down this lever the way to remove this is, or to break this down, is to put the tension all the way up and then back it up slightly so you have a little bit of play on it. Pop off this E-ring here. Lift it up, or angle it up, and it should come right out, like so. Now this, you can certainly back this up now to 
to remove the knob. Set that aside. And what you have remaining is this washer, I'm sorry, this bearing, that piece sitting on top of it like that. And there's a spring on the inside of the knob that you can remove as well. That's essentially how it sits. And that's it for this. I'm gonna pause the camera for a little while, let that oil just soak in there and see if we can get that uh get that knob sorry that screw loosened so we can remove it. Okay, we're back. Uh it's the day after I started breaking this pen uh, 12H down and we were letting the the main gear or the screw that goes into the main gear soak. <clears throat> uh, I tried a couple other things to remove it and it's just stuck in there so I think some thread lock has been used to to secure it in there. Uh, so rather than continuing to work on this and possibly sharing the screw off or something and having to replace it which may not be possible because the parts for this is uh, are hard to come by because this is a pretty old reel <coughs> we're just going to leave it the way it is i took apart everything else inside here and i'll show you how to put that back in uh, this will obviously be a little bit take a little more time than if the main gear was taken out uh, but we'll get it in there just bear with me and I did check the teeth on this as best I could they looked fine the reel felt fine before I took it apart so it should all be good either way and worst case scenario if this ever needs to be changed out you'll need to break this off if it can't be removed and try to find um, a shaft plus a screw so we'll see in any event <clears throat> let's put this part back together so the first thing I'm going to do is just kind of grease inside there I'm going to use a q-tip for that <clears throat> just get all this greased up I'm going to push this up a little bit so we can get under there as well and all I'm putting on here is a light coat of grease doesn't need to be anything extravagant and that should be good for the inside I'm gonna get the uh, inside over here as well that should be good Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is put the the dog on, or sorry, the spring, and that'll sit over this post right there. If you'll notice on this spring, there's a side with a point upright, I think you can see that, and it's also bent slightly that'll sit in here like so and we'll get that spring down into that groove right there now there's a groove just above the spring where the e-clip will sit and that keeps it in place I don't have my tweezers just got a feel for it and then pop it in there. All right, there's a groove right there. Let's see if we can get that in. It's close. There we go. <coughs> Excuse me. So that's in and that's securing the spring. Now to get the dog in and let me grease this up real quick. Just greasing the top part. I'm gonna wipe the grease, the grease off the tip because I don't want it on there. Get the dog set in place. 
I'm going to put it around this post right here. And the way it's going to sit is like so. And I'm going to, I have to put it up, angle it up this way so that I can get it past the dog in there or past, past the shaft, excuse me, so that it can be set in place. Otherwise, you're not going to get it in there. That looks pretty good. That should be set in place. Good. Now it'll come out until I secure everything, but at least we know we, we have it set in place. So now we can put the, don't move, this cover on. And the way to do that is, I'm going to rest these two these two spacers here on top of these two holes. Take our cover and we're going to have it where it sits away from the groove which would be, I'm sorry, away from the cylinder, which would be this way. Because you need to create keep space there for the bearing <clears throat> and for the pinion to go through. Push that over so we can get those holes lined up. And get our screws in there. Now we can go ahead and grease this, <coughs> this main gear up. Okay, <clears throat> so now let's go ahead and put on this cover right here. And before I do, I'm going to grease this post up. plus the hole inside. As well as right here where that sleeve sits. Get that on line it up and get our screws to put it in there. Okay. That looks good. Now let's go ahead and get the handle on. To do so, we're going to add a little bit of oil to right here. Gonna work that in. We we'll got a little bit of grease on here. All right there is good. Get our two shims or spacers, get them on <clears throat> like so, rest this on, hey, come back here,
Rest these on there. Get that on. And screw it in. Good. <clears throat> now, before before we get any further, we're gonna we're going to add some oil to these bearings here. So they can sit. I don't add much to those. I'm gonna do a little spin just to work them in. And we'll add some to this as well. Now let's work on the left side plate. We'll get our click tongue, our clicker mechanism put back on. So let's go ahead and grease inside here as well. Grease in here where the where the bearing sits and all over. <clears throat> Take our left side bearing, pop that in. It's just a tight fit, so it won't get stuck in there, but it'll be a little stiff coming out, which is good because then it sets in place and doesn't really move. Take our clicker, grease that up. Grease our click tongue. Then we'll take one of these washers. I like to put the smaller one on top so it's less visible from the outside. And that's going to go through here like that. Let's, uh, excuse me, let's set the click tongue in there first, or the clicker in there. That goes like that on those two posts. Push it down in with the screw. knob slide it all the way back and now we're going to fit this in there like so open up the clicker get it resting in there when we do that we can add our e-clip e to it Okay, so the way I put the e-clip on is just rest it on top of the base. Then I'll take my screwdriver, my flathead screwdriver, and just click it into place like that. And that's it for the left side plate. Let's add a little more grease to this right here. Okay. Good. 
Oh, let's do our <clears throat> our spool. Let's do the drag side first. Let's get our clutch washers set over there as well, and our bearings. So let's go ahead and add some grease to this, to the spool. Add some grease over the bearing sets. Grease under here and in there. And I'm going to grease here as well. This is where the the uh, cover goes. So saw what I can obviously get stuck in there and eat away at it. Okay. And with one of the bearings. plate like so get our two plastic or silicone nodes nodes and set back in place <clears throat> get our drag add some grease to it set that down in place after we put our spring in there and what I like to do is for these springs I like to put the uh, like to put the pinion through just keep it lined up so I'll do it with the reverse side like so just to keep it lined up on with the spring get our drag set on top there then we'll put our cover on before I put the cover on I'm going to add some grease to it as well to right here on with the cover Line up the holes 
and get those screwed down. Pull this pinion out. Okay, so now we can go to the other side. Get our clutch washers greased up. Add them to our pinion gear, like so. And the way we saw this before was that the shim washer was above it. I like to put it below it, so it just rests just above the uh, the bearing. But either way it works. Uh, for argument's sake, what I'm going to do on this one is actually just keep it the way it was since it was working fine. So we'll put this on here like this. And the way these sit again is concave to concave. So it should look like a flying saucer when you put it together. I'm going to grease this shaft. It's a light amount of grease. Then we'll grease the pinion afterwards when we get everything set. Let's go ahead and grease this inside of the spool here, as well as where the bearing sits. Get the bearing in there. Now we can stick our pinion through, like so. And that should be good. Get us all wiped down first. Okay, so now we can start putting the reel back together. The real foot will sit like so. That looks right. Perfect. And I'm going to add a little bit of grease to all these holes before I put the, the screws in. So it just helps transfer some of the, uh, the grease to the holes so they don't get corroded inside. This post is going to go in and then come off with this come off when we do the right side. But I like to put it on now because it helps me line the everything else up. So the nameplate will go this way and this unstamped post will go this way. So let's get the uh, 
the reel, the rod clamp in. Then we can move on to the rest of the the rest of the reel. The the screws for the rod clamp are have a square shape just under the head of it. They'll obviously sit in the grooves right there. Get our lock washers down, or our lock nuts. So now we can set our spool in place, and now we can go back to the right side. Okay, so we already greased inside here. We're gonna put together our tension knob. I'm gonna grease in here a little bit. A lot of gunk kind of gets collected in there. Take our screw, put our spring on. Where's our spring? Put our spring on there. Screw it in. And we're going to screw it all the way up. We get our bearing, set that on there. This. And now we take our E clip, rest it at an angle, push in, and then lock it in place. Back that up slightly so we can make sure it's moving properly, and it is. So that's good. Now I'm going to back it all the way up for when we install the uh, the lever. Okay, so we're going to get this put together now. And like I said, this post is going to come out again. I just had to. Uh, Put it there so it, it just helps me line everything up. Keep that separate. And now we can add grease to these holes as well. And now we can go ahead and set our, our spool in place. And I'm just looking for the holes, which should be right about, uh, let's go back around. Should be right about here. Yeah, right there, nope, not there. Right about there. Yeah. Get our long screws in there. And we're not going to lock this down yet because we're going to screw that post back in. So that's enough. Let's get our post and get it screwed back in place. I'm going to add a dab of grease to right here. Get it screwed in. Now we can get our screw and put that back in place. tighten that yet. 
now we can do the rest of our we're going to take this off because I forgot to uh, grease the pinion we can't have that so let's go ahead and take this apart real quick okay so now we can take our posts and put them in here before I do that the, the quadrant ring will block these two screws so I'm going to lock those down We're going to get our bearing set in here first, like so. And then we'll get this set up here, set to the side. We'll get our quadrant ring. We're going to get our screw put back over here. Let's stick these metal pieces in. Like so. And now we're going to put our eccentric on. Should be right around there. Let me move this out of the way first. Right around there. Get this put back in place. Get our quadrant ring. Look for the beveled edge that sits facing down. Stick it through here like this. Rest our quadrant ring on the posts. I like to start with the center. Screw. Okay, so now we can put this piece together like so and like so. Stick that into the hole and just screw it in. So now we can tighten up all these screws. And that's that. And that's how you put together or put back together a pen 12H. There's your free spool. We locked up the free spool there. It's too tight. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Until next time tight lines and hope to see you guys again.